Alright, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully it's the last time you see me in this outfit. I really do like this outfit, if I haven't quickly showed you. It's like a crop top, but it's like a um, sweaterish material and then I have a wide legging pants paired with it. So it's definitely more into the winter fall vibe, but still, it's not super cold, like you still have skin so show through. Anyway, we're gonna go through the 24 products that I want to pan or finish or use it up in the year of 2024 and there's a few things I actually decided to change. We started with two primers. I mean, we're just gonna dive straight in. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a like and the subscribe and comment down below. Is it 24 product as in makeup wise is too many products in your opinion? Because it's definitely a heavy load for me. Um, I do have an intro at the start of the year. I upload in January, so I'll keep that video somewhere up and down in the description box. I am just currently looking for my two travel-sized primer. We're off at a great start. I have the Nude by Nature Perfecting Primer, 10 mil over here. If I'm focusing, I've also got a Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser over here. Actually, now I'm looking at it, I can do a marking. The Nude by Nature is currently here. I have to say, they're definitely not coming as a full size. I've only used it two, three times. I retract for two times, but I feel like I might use it a couple more. But I'm just going to say as two times. The goal for both of these are to finish, so it doesn't really matter. Don't think I can see through the Maybelline one. Just let me quickly do my... Yeah, this one is really towards to the bottom already. Because I have used it 33 times now. And it feels really lightweight as well. I can definitely see myself finishing this one. And I'm hoping I can finish a Nude by Nature one as well. Moving on to foundations. I've got one, two, three, four foundation. I was thinking big, and here's the reality. I want to finish the e.l.f. foundation serum. This one's got 14 mils only, and saying only, I don't have started as a full bottle. I have used it at least 25 times when I tracked it, and last time I checked, it was like right at the very top because it's a pump bottle, but still, every time I pump it, it's like full pump. There's only one time it's got a little air bubble scene and I thought it would, I'm, I was towards the very finish line and then it pumped normally again. So we're going to see how that goes. Because of that, my other foundation that I only want to use it for 30 times, which is the Lancome Tinted Audio Ultra Wear, I did not use it once. So I am kind of at the stage, maybe I need to start using the Lancome first to get that 30 times usage and leave the e.l.f. one. I only track it for 20 times usage. All the other times I'm basically using my concealer. And, and still, I have my longtime favorite, the uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear sitting here for the days when I need a really long gravity wear. And I know I'm gonna sweat and all that. And double wear for me is the longer, the prettier, the, the sweat, the heat, the more of the heat, the more of my sweat coming out, the oils coming out, it looks more natural. And I love how it finished at the end of the day. Rarely have a makeup looks better and at the end of the day versus at the start because it's a bit heavy at the start. But yeah, this is one. So yeah, these are the two. I'm trying to think maybe I should change my focus a little bit. I've also put in two compact cream base product. One is the... Let me just found my stuff. I've been tinted... What is this called? SPF 50 Plus Tinted Compact Cream. I have used it 11 times and my goal was to hit pan and there's a really big dent now. Like you can truly see there is a dent, but I don't think it's heating pan just yet. If I really focus on this, I can definitely hit pan. Again, I think I could do with my e.l.f. and then that didn't finish and nothing moved forward. Therefore, the W7 Genius Super Smart Cream Foundation only having 2.5 mil and I'm still unable to hit pen because I didn't use it at all and I feel like this is more of my shade now I should start using it so I'm gonna see how I'm gonna work around all these base products to make it work more better for me and that is where we're at so we're kind of off a little bit of rough start 
And then moving on to concealers, I've got a couple that I'm working on. One is e.l.f. Conceal and Highlight 2-in-1. I am deciding to declutter this. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of like separating and it's a bit, not leaking, but it's just to the point that I don't think it does anything for me anymore. I do fit, uh, I did use up nine times when I tracked it. So I think this is a deep clutter, so it won't be mentioned next time. I've also got the uh, Bajua's Healthy Mix Cream uh, Concealer, Anti-Fatigue Concealer, and my goal is to finish this. I didn't use it a lot, but I start to use it more now because the other one's really close to finish. So I have tracked a 13 times of usage and I cannot see any window. So I've got a fair bit to go. The other one I don't have it with me is at another place. It's the Max Factor Concealer. I'll try to remember if it's a photo or if I take a photo later on. I have set a goal to finish it and I have used 30 times so far and it's to the very, very bottom of it now. I feel like it might give me another 15 times each use because I use it not just as a concealer. Sometimes I sport it all around my face and it will just be a concealer foundation each day and then go as a powder. So that's all my concealers. Moving to powder, I do have a e.l.f. setting powder over here. This is a quad one. I set myself a goal of having one more pen on this correcting powder. I've already got pen over here, that's many years ago. I won't hit one more pen in any of the other shades or all three other shades. I've used it nine times. I use it a fair bit. And then I realized because of the e.l.f. foundation is really lightweight, I usually are after a slightly high coverage powder. So I've been using like my designer brands ones. I've been using my uh, Huda Beauty Glow Ish. So a bit of glow, a bit of coverage. That's why I haven't been using the uh, e.l.f. one that frequently. If I'm using the double wear foundation, I'll be using this a little bit more. So at this day, there's no sign of pen whatsoever. Um, but this will be another product. I think by the end of the year, I might just decide to get rid of it. Doesn't matter how many times that I've used, whether I hit my goals or not. Just trying to use it a little bit more in the year of 2024. That's the one and only setting powder that I put it in. Then we've got a couple face powders. We have the Marc Jacobs, what is called 200 Tentastic Glow. So it's a Omega 3. It got three shades. We have the Blush Powder Blush bronze and highlighter. So I have used a few of these at variable times. My goal is to use the whole palette 30 times. Uh, being means at least one category mixed 30 times and regardless of the other two. I have used the blush 11 times so far. It's a very beautiful blush. It's the one I'm having today. It's quite subtle. I've also used the bronzer 18 times now. I found I'm really loving this bronzer, but I have actually three bronzers that I'm working on. And I've also, also used the highlighter 14 times. This highlighter is a little bit darker for me. I did use it today and then I have to use some other ones to really buff it in and to lighten up the shades because it's too yellow, too gold in my opinion. So overall, the bronzer is the one that really close to hit 30 usage because it's more than halfway through. So I can definitely hit the goal for this particular product by the end of the year. And speaking of the other two bronzers, I have one. It's a powder bronzer. It's the Models Prefer. It's actually a mineral powder in their soft touch line. This is one of their uh, limited edition in the shade uh, Radiant Bronze. You can tell it's a baked bronzer. That is not very intense. It got a tiny bit of sheen in it. So what I usually do is use either the cream bronzer or the uh, Marc Jacobs one and then I kind of use it to buff it around if um, after a little bit more glow If not the cream and the powder can work together to set and buff So I have used this 18 times no sorry 13 times at this stage and I said I go for 30 usage so I can see myself finishing this as well the other um, Bronzing product. It's a cream. This is the Fenty Beauty cream bronzer in the shade 01 amber This is so great on me. I definitely purchased this 
following someone else's recommendation as more of a contour shade but even as a contour it's very gray i did use a tiny bit today and the problem with gray it sometimes looks like muddy and dirty so i don't particularly really enjoy but i do not want to waste the product so i'm just going to try i'm trying to figure out how i'm going to make it work maybe i have some other cream that is really warm that i mixed in at this stage i'm only using it seven times and i want a heat pan and I don't think that's happening if I'm just using at this speed. But we'll just see how if I can work a little bit better with this one to get more usage out of it. For blush, I also have a Chinese brand called A Pink Baby. It's the Queen of Hearts blush. They no longer have this brand. It's completely out of business now. But it is a very pretty Got a bit of sheen-ish color blush. I scrapped the top because it's getting so dried out, hard panned. I want to use it 30 times. Currently, I use it 14 times. Because it's so easy to hard pan, I think. This is another one that I'll use as much as possible. And at the end of the year, I'm going to get it out of my collection. Um, another powder pro Oh, actually, another two more powder products. One, both of these are highlighters, actually. The Fenty Beauty. Sorry, everything's a bit dirty. The Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal is a highlighter dual. One is more shimmery, the other one's more subtle. I want to use it 30 times. I have used the more subtle side 13 times and the more glittery side 8 times. I try to track it, but there are days I definitely don't have the time to track. And I try to think backwards, so there might be a couple times... Like the tracking number is relatively accurate, but I definitely track less and I don't want to track more if I'm not using it. So I'd actually get more use out of it, just in case you're wondering. So by saying that, I think I can hit 30 times usage go. Bear in mind to try to remember using that. And then my Physician's Formulas Butter Hard IR. This is in the shade Champagne. I didn't even think of using it to start with. But now, because I'm kind of so over the other two, if I'm after a gold color, if you're not seeing the Fenty Beauty one, this is more pinkish in the shade. So if I'm after a more gold color, and the Marc Jacobs one is a little bit too dark, so I can choose from these shades. I've been using it a little bit more frequent recently, and I'm hit up to seven times of usage, and this is a goal of 30 times as well. So I think these are kind of like, in a good progress, but cannot guarantee. I've also got another liquid blush, or this is a lipstick or lip tint type of product, Tinted Love by Charlotte Tilbury. I want to use it 30 times. So far, I have already used it 20 times. I use it more often as a lip than cheek. I do love how it looks on the cheek, but I like it to set, not set, as a prime or base of my lip color, and then I layer on other things. So throughout the day, if I happen to be eating and drinking, I still have a bit of color left. And I do really like the color it comes. It does not sheer out completely and dries out completely matte, but it is a lovely tint. Let's go eyes and lips. I have two eyeshadow palettes that I want to heat pan or uh, heat a usage go. One is a Huda Beauty Retrograde. I want to use it for 30 times. I have used it five times and it's a really lovely palette. I've seen others painting it and I absolutely love the glittery shades in here. However, I don't think without a primer this lasts very long on my eyelid. And then secondly, the matte shade here is are really not my favorite, at least for my skin tone maybe. This is a palette I'm decided to declutter. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to see if any of my friends just want to play with it to, you know, dig around. And if they like it, they can keep it. Otherwise, it's really sad. I bought it when it's first launched, when they had a very first deal. And I got it straight away. Lucky I didn't go full price. I love everything about this palette, but it just does not work well on my eyes. The other one that I got is the Monal... Monal... Monal Milani Soft and Sultry Palette. This, I have all three of their palettes. Um, I think it's the least favorite out of the three because it's too classic in my opinion. Like I always want a little bit of warm shimmers on top and this is just a very cool tone, which is that's, if that's what you're after, then you get it. Um, I always after a little bit something else. So I need to pair with some other palettes. I've got the Huda Beauty uh, toffee brown palette here with me. So I always top with a couple of shimmer shade along with my Milani to make it work. 
um, but I can just use this palette by itself and it works as well. So this is another palette I'm going to think about it as I use more. At this stage, I've used it five times. I do like how it looks. The longevity A varies. If I pair with other eyeshadow palettes, sometimes it works better. If I just use it by itself, I think it fades out a little bit more um, and see how I go. For eyes mascara, I've got two mascara here. One is the Raw Beauty Super Food Infused Beauty Mascara called Loaded Lash. The other one is the OXX Studio Mascara. I have used this mascara 14 times and now it's completely gone. It's dried out and it's filled through and it feels very empty as well. So that's a done ski. I've also got this raw mascara that I mentioned. I've been using it five times and I can feel it's getting very dry, but I can still get product out of it. So I'm going to use a few more times, hopefully another five, six times before call it a day. But I can definitely see this all going out of my collection. Then for lip product, I've got, well, this is the one that I mentioned. And I've also got the Revlon lip. Um, this is their Color Burst lacquer in the shade 105 this is a just very no color topping sort of shade you can see it's got other colors as well because i usually do whatever color and then just to layer on top to give this glitter effect which i can apply on this lipstick as lip shade i'm having as well haven't been using it as frequently because a lot of days i'm just more after a matte shade like i'm having it now so i've only used it three times although i said i go for 30. The other one is the one that I applied today, which is the L'Oreal here, in Fellabo Lip Tint. So it's like I have a powder on this side and I dip it in and then to apply it on my lips. I use it again as a primer, like the first layer of my lips, and then I go with another lipsticks. I want to finish this one, and I've used it six times only, and I can see there's quite a little bit of products in here. Again, by the end of 2024, if I didn't finish whatever I left, I'm going to say a bye-bye. I think I've got everything, but actually looking at all the things, I did forget to mention one liquid product, which is the Benefit Sun Beam. The Sun Beam Golden Browns, a kind of like a highlighter, bronzer, however you want to use it. I've only managed to use it twice, and I want to finish it. I don't think so. I don't really found a way of to use this one, although it's a good product by itself. I just haven't figured out how I'm going to make it work. So at the start of the year, I had 10 finish goal, 10 usage goal, and 4 heat pens to make it 24 products. At this stage, I have actually only met one finish goal, so we're 23 products. But I've also decided to declutter two. So we're starting with 21 products moving into the second half of the year. And looking at all of the 21 products left, I think we have a good half of all these will be able to meet the go at the end of the 2024. So I'm hoping to do a very quick catch up right before the end of 2024 to see where we're at. And then I'm going to do a finale just to reflect on everything. I hope that's making sense. Um, and I hope you enjoyed a very quick brief update on the 24 of 2024 makeup project pen because my battery is about to die. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. If you're doing something similar, even just a couple of stuff, let me know how you go in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a like and consider subscribe. And let me know how often you want me to update you guys. I feel like because I don't use as that frequently, a good period of time, it's a good length for me to update you. If that makes sense, what I was just saying. Anyway, let's stay safe and stay positive, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.